Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a salt replacement called celery salt. As you know, I have been on a quest to remove salt from my diet. So I am going to share this video just in case it will help someone else who is on a journey to remove salt from their diet as well. Okay, so for this recipe, you need one ingredient and that is one bunch of celery. And you cut it in bite-sized pieces. You want to be sure not to use any of the leaves of the celery because if you use them, you're going to get a bitter result. You need a dehydrator for this recipe. I have used one dehydrator sheet for my celery and I'm gonna put it in the dehydrator on 113 degrees. I will post a link to the dehydrator that I have down in the description box below this video. You may need to dehydrate your celery up to 24 hours. And when it's finished, you will get these tiny little bits of celery. You see the difference between what it looked like when it had water in it versus how it looks now that it's completely dried. Next, what you're gonna do is take your dried celery bits and transfer them to your blender. I used my Nutribullet, but you can use whatever kind of blender you have on hand. And depending on your blender, will determine how long you have to blend to get this celery salt into a powdered consistency. So I blended my celery until it was a fine powder. I wanna say it took about 30 seconds in my Nutribullet. So I have an empty spice container. I believe I got these from World Market, but I think you can get them on Amazon easily. Or really you can just use an old spice container from one of your old spices that you used in the past. Just clean it and dry it. I took a funnel and I poured my celery salt into the bottle. My spice container has a lid so that you can sprinkle it onto your food. Just remember that when you are using celery salt, it is very, very strong. So a little bit goes a long way and you can put this in, on anything, on in soups, on your salad, in your salad dressings, you can put it on anything that you feel needs a salty flavor. I hope this video has been a help to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it with a friend. I'd love to hear your comments below. And if no one told you they love you today, Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much. Take care.